These two little girls give new meaning to the word tough. Caroline Carrico, five years old, and her sister Leah, eight years old, survived 44 hours on their own in the woods in California. How did they do it? They told rescuers they drank water from leaves and ate cereal bars and huddled in a bush. Also, it turns out they were trained by 4-H for outdoor survival. Sorry. Officials say they're looking into whether or not that played a part. So how do you teach your kids how to survive something like this? Let's bring in an expert. He is a survival instructor. His name is Thomas Coyne. He joins me now. Thomas, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me. And this is definitely a wonderful story. Unbelievable story. Now, Thomas, you are a survival instructor. You're in Northern California. Tell me a little bit about the terrain. What were these two kids up against? So the thing about the terrain in that country is it's fairly isolated, well over a mile from their house, completely with no sense of direction, completely lost because the forest is dense. It could be very steep there, and it just goes on for miles and miles without any people around. It's a very remote setting, and it's, it's awesome that they were found as quickly as they were. So give me some tips for some parents in our area if their kids are lost in the woods. I mean, staying put, that sounds like good advice for anybody who's lost. Uh, but what's, what are another couple tips that you have for folks to go tonight or tomorrow morning to teach their kids? The best thing is uh, whenever you're going to go in the outdoors, you bring a, your little survival kit, even if it's one that can fit in a pocket. It could have an, a little emergency blanket in there, a way to start a fire or purify water, make a signal. So if anything does happen in the outdoors, you stay put where you are and you use your kit to stay safe and alive and signal for rescuer. Um, and always give your kids a whistle to blow in the outdoors. If that, that it'll travel much farther than their voice is screaming or your voice screaming. So if you're blowing whistles when they're lost, it'll travel much farther. All right, Thomas, good advice, man. Thank you for joining me, appreciate it. Let's bring in our A plus panel. Both parents, Allison Young and Peter Brown. Peter, I'll start with you. Five and eight years old. I think there are a lot of adults that couldn't survive that. What do you think? Well, um, I grew up in Jackson. We had this big scare of tigers running in the woods a couple of years ago. So I probably would be able to survive. But I my remember that. Five, yes. I remember that. But my daughter being five, I don't think she would be. Uh, we, we, she doesn't have any, any, any experience being out in the woods. So no, I, I don't think she Allison, would be. Allison, what do you think? We're raising my daughter in the city. So I'm pretty sure she, you know, the wilderness for her is having to take the bus somewhere. I don't know that she Got would it. do okay. so well Got out it. in the Got trees. It. You're like just watching, is it watching on TV? <laughs> yeah. But does it make you think? I mean, I, you know, we, the joke around my house is we had a prepper Christmas one year where I made sure that each of our cars had water that could last you know 10 years shelf life protein bars because I've heard the stories of people getting stuck in their car I've got a fire extinguisher I've got something to break the glass cut the seatbelt I'm ready to go I, I think we've come to, to a point in society that we're so reliable in technology and other things in nature that when it comes to truly surviving about these devices you know um, we, we're lost yeah and you just assume none of this is ever so, going wait, to happen to you right so uh, no change just gonna take a chance. I don't know. It's making me think now. We might have to go on a camping trip or something. <laughs> what do you think, Allison? Any change at Listen, all? Listen, I am no. paranoid. This is what being a parent does. It makes you paranoid. All right. Thanks, guys.